What is systems development life cycle? Presented by Zero to Pro Training .com. In this video, we will talk about what is systems development life cycle. Systems development life cycle is a term used to describe a process for planning, creating, testing, and deploying an information system. The systems development life cycle is also referred to as the application development life cycle. The abbreviation SDLC is used for the term. This term is used in systems engineering, information systems and software engineering. The systems development life cycle concept applies to a range of hardware and software configurations. As a system can be composed of hardware only, software only, or a combination of both. A systems development life cycle is composed of a number of clearly defined and distinct work phases. The work phases are used by systems engineers and systems developers to plan for, design, build, test, and deliver information systems. An SDLC is aimed to produce high quality systems similar to a manufacturing assembly line. The purpose is to meet or exceed customer expectations. First, customer requirements are determined. Then, a system is produced in clearly defined phase within scheduled time frames and cost estimates. Computer systems are complex and often link multiple traditional systems potentially supplied by different software vendors. The complexity has increased due to rise of service-oriented architecture. To manage this level of complexity, a number of SDLC models or methodologies have been created, such as waterfall, spiral, agile software development, rapid prototyping, incremental, and synchronize and stabilize. SDLC can be described along a spectrum of agile to iterative to sequential. Agile methodologies such as XP and Scrum focus on lightweight processes which allow for rapid changes along the development cycle. Iterative methodologies such as rational unified process and dynamic systems development method focus on limited project scope and expanding or improving products by multiple iterations sequential or big design upfront models such as waterfall focus on complete and correct planning to guide large projects other models such as anamorphic development tend to focus on a form of development that is guided by project scope and adaptive iterations of feature development. In project management, a project can be defined both with a project life cycle and a systems development life cycle in which slightly different activities occur. The systems development life cycle originated in 1960s to develop large scale functional business systems. Ever since, the traditional life cycle approaches to systems development have been increasingly replaced with alternative approaches and frameworks. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.